everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, I'm going to do my first Banksy. Now I realize Banksy's graffiti artwork can be quite politically driven. The reason why I got it, it's just I'm trying to do different jigsaw puzzles with different aesthetics from different brands and just expand my repertoire. I did love this bunny. I mean, come on. The juxtaposition of the Thug for Life t-shirt and the cute little bunny, adorable. Now, it's hard to know exactly what the brand is. It just says manufactured by Brands International Limited. Um, it does say brandalized, it's trademark, but I believe this is their Urban Art Series. And there were like four or five different um, jigsaw puzzles with Banksy's artwork on it that I could purchase. I did get the Thug for Life bunny. What's interesting on the back of the box, it actually tells you where you could see the artwork and what year it was done. But this one actually is no longer available to view. It's been covered up. There's also a little write-up of you know Banksy's idea behind the artwork and what it represents. Um, I just thought it would be fun and different to do. I think it'll be a bit of a quick build just because I'll probably sort out like the red and the bunny and maybe the chains. There's some brickwork down here. The background will probably be a bit more tedious. I did like that it didn't come wrapped in plastic so I've already cut the box so I could open it. Now let's see what's inside. So the pieces are in a bag, but looking at it, it doesn't feel like there's any puzzle dust in it at, uh, at all. The pieces seem to be, you know, regular, typical size shaped pieces. Not super, super thick, but of a good thickness. Um, I think it'll be a pretty good quality puzzle. But what I love, oh, they gave you a little poster. See, what I love about this is that if you're two people trying to work on a puzzle, one person can look at the box, the other person can look at the little printout, and what I've noticed is that the box can be big and clunky, but this is much easier to follow and move around on the board while you're working on the puzzle. So I love it. I love that they've included that. That is so nice. I wish more puzzles came with, you know, a poster of the image. That would be good. So there you go. Do you enjoy Banksy's artwork? Um, do you enjoy street art? I live in a town that is known for its street art. You can do walking tours. Um, we absolutely love it here. And a lot of the artists, I'm actually thinking, I would love to do that as a jigsaw puzzle. I don't know if they would find that insulting if I'd be like, um, would you like turn that into a jigsaw puzzle for me so I can do it. Um, we have some beautiful, beautiful artists here. So anyway, let's, um, I'll just get cracking. I'll do some quick sorting. I probably won't sort too much of the background. I'll do a sub sort on that, but I think it, it, it's just something fun and different to do. So for the love of puzzles, let's get going on this Banksy. I took about 20 minutes to sort the pieces. These are all what I believe to be bunny pieces. I did pull out the red ones for the bunny shirt and hopefully I got all the border pieces. I will admit, again, I got distracted focusing on the bunny and the shirt that I may have missed a few border pieces. Now, the rest of the pieces are all very muted in color. However, there's the chains and the bricks and some blues. So I may subsort these. I may not. I may just pick stuff out and work on them as I go. But 20 minutes to sort. What I did notice is I think this puzzle will end up being smaller than a typical um, thousand piece puzzle because the pieces are actually, you know, quite small overall. Smaller than what I would expect. And that's fine. I don't mind working with smaller pieces. But yeah, the cardboard is maybe a little bit thinner than some of the other brands we know and love, but still really good quality. The one thing I loved, not a single bit of puzzle dust in the whole bag, in the box, or anything. And maybe because the backing is different than like the Ravensburger blue backing, which is almost very like a bit felty. This is more like solid smooth. Yeah, 
no puzzle dust to be found. So there you go. I'll probably start with the border, then might try to do the t-shirt and work on the bunny. Probably leaving the more difficult, boring part for the end, but that's fine. So there you go. 20 minutes sort done. For the love of puzzles, let's get to building. So what you're going to notice on the right side of the puzzle is there's two areas I'm struggling with. One has a single piece missing, which is a one prong piece. The other, there's three pieces I'm trying to find. And you know what? It's an area that is very much gray, bluish, so there were very few pieces that could go there. And I tried and I tried, and I was like, wait, something's wrong. I must have a piece in the wrong spot. Eventually, you see my big head in the shot because I realize that the single prong piece I had in the lower section was the missing piece from the top part, and that the other pieces that I kept trying over and over and over again, well, they went in that bigger area and I was able to finish it. But what a frustration because that single prong piece honestly looked like it belonged where I originally had put it. And the only reason why I tried it is because it was a single prong piece and I was starting to pull pieces out and try them in the, the other spot. It, it was rather frustrating because it did appear as if it perfectly fit where I had originally put it. So that was my first Banksy puzzle. Are you a fan of street art in general? Yes or no? Leave your comments below. 
I really enjoyed this image. I thought at first it would be quite difficult, but it just paced together nicely. Started with the shirt, the outline of the bunny, the inside of the bunny, the chains, the brickwork, the graffiti, the blues, the grays, the browns. It just really flowed. I thought it would be a lot more difficult, but I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, the only thing I did not like was the glossiness of the pieces and how they stuck to one another. If I took a piece and tried it in the wrong spot, I fought to free it. Oh my goodness, so many times I struggled and I had to use two hands to try to pry a piece out. And then there was that piece that I had in the wrong spot. I knew something was going on there. That, that drove me a little crazy because it looked like it fit and went where I originally had it. Oh well. So it was a bit of a challenge in that respect, but overall I really enjoyed the image. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!